And there was a mad dash to the exit for travelers fleeing the UK as the government enforced a lockdown and other countries closed their borders. A new, more contagious strain of the virus was discovered there, and now the CDC is assessing how to respond. CBS Force Ty Russell has more details for us. Ty. Well, Elliot and Lauren, we should note that it is common for viruses to mutate into different strains. Tonight, world health leaders say the common goal is to just slow the spread of coronavirus in general. And tonight, since we are learning how other countries are closing its borders to the UK because of that latest strain, we are asking what's being done here. There are about 14 flights from the United Kingdom to Miami International Airport every week. For now, the plan is to keep it that way, despite England being the epicenter of a new strain of COVID-19 that's 70 percent more transmissible. A spokesperson for MIA says the decision to restrict travel is not made locally. That would be the responsibility of the federal government. Uh, currently, there is a restriction that only allows U.S. citizens and legal permanent residents from the U.K. to arrive to the U.S. The county mayor's office says rules to test or quarantine once landing is a state-level decision. The World Health Organization is still trying to learn more about this latest strain. What we understand so far from the data that's been reported by the UK is that they have reported an, an increase in transmission in this variant. That means it's possible for one infected person to spread the virus to more people, and then newly infected people can then do the same. Health leaders say this is what a virus does. It mutates. World health leaders have discovered 4,000 coronavirus mutations already, but experts say this latest one is just as serious like all the others. We don't have evidence that this virus will change the severity, the diagnostics, or the, the value of vaccines going forward. That's a sigh of relief as frontline workers and long-term care residents continue to get their first dose of a vaccine. The bottom line, health leaders say the key to slowing mutations is slowing the spread. The more we allow it to spread, the more opportunity it has to change. Germany, Italy, and Canada have closed its borders to flights from the UK. Here at home, airport leaders say to make people feel safe, they'll continue to remind travelers about CDC guidelines. Whether it's a strong strain of the virus or a weaker strain like we've seen already, whether there are high cases or low cases, we still encourage passengers to follow the same precautions we've been following all along. Now, at the same time, when scientists discovered this new strain in the UK, they discovered one in South Africa as well that's being studied right now. In the meantime, as for the Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport, it doesn't have any direct flights to and from the UK, but airport leaders there are also encouraging all of its travelers to follow those CDC guidelines. We are live tonight in Miami. I'm Ty Russell, CBS 4 News.